All right, big news in the NHL. It's not official yet, but Chris Johnson from Sportsnet, you know he's reliable. He gets today's scoop with the NHL getting their new US TV deal. This is huge. Through ESPN, I got the details here. This is just my straight out reaction, posting this video, and then I'm going live tonight. Hopefully you guys all join the stream. Subscribe if you're new, smash the like button. If you're a hockey fan, give this channel a chance. I hope to see you more going forward. So ESPN is believed to have reached a seven year deal to become one of the league's media partners starting next season. Uh, so that's according to multiple league and industry sources. So this is not confirmed, confirmed, but I'm making the video because Chris Johnson, this guy's pretty reliable, Sportsnet pretty reliable. When news like this comes out through Sportsnet, it's reliable. There was no confirmation from the NHL on the agreement, but it's expected to see ESPN get the rights to broadcast four Stanley Cup finals between 2022 and 2028, plus streaming rights for Disney. I mean, we've talked about it, whether it's like platforms like Disney um, or like we've talked about with like YouTube. We've talked about different perspectives of like streaming games. The direction for digital media through sports streaming live streaming through sports you guys have seen this channel i've had a great time and i've made an opportunity for myself and this community and this channel through live streaming reactions commentary my play i play i think there's so much more that the nhl and that there's so much more that content creators can do with the nhl the nhl doesn't get enough respect as it is through the u.s and i think there's so much potential there Obviously, we're so far away from what the NBA has been able to do internationally and through North America. The NHL has so much room to grow. And uh, as it says here, financial terms of the deal weren't immediately available, uh, but we know it's going to be a large number. Um, the NBC uh, contract currently pays $200 million annually uh, for the exclusive U.S. media rights. So this expires after this season, and ESPN, it seems like, is taking over. Um, as one of the main the main dogs for the NHL in the U.S. So I'm excited. I, you know what? I don't live in the U.S., but this is a huge jump for the NHL. There's so much perspective for how the NHL has lacked or has failed in certain perspectives for players and the league, just the, ho the hockey, the game itself. This league needs to market its players better. And through ESPN, I think they're able to do that. You guys saw my video. I ripped into Max Kellerman over the comments about hockey. Hopefully, they... Bring it to ESPN. They hire the right people. I know a lot of people are already talking about Thorne. A lot of people are talking about different personalities, different play-by-play -play, uh, individuals, different people that can be on air. I'm, I'm just so excited to see how it transpires, and I hope they get it right. I hope they nail it. And I, and I hope that we see hockey just grow uh, and continue to grow, and I want to be a part of that with this channel. I want to get to 50K, 100K. I want to grow in this community with you guys. And this is a big step for it. And, um, I mean... It's great, man. It's great. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot going to the trade deadline and then obviously the playoffs and then the Seattle expansion draft and then now a new US TV deal. There's a lot happening in 2021 for the NHL. So this is just my straight out reaction. I was just going to search up as I'm making this video because this is like breaking news. I just wanted to search up uh, ESPN NHL on Twitter, see if anything else has come up. But it seems like that is it for uh, now. And if there's more updates, if there's more to come, uh, then I will possibly be making another video or I'll just talk about it in the live stream. So when I'm live on this channel, guys, just make sure you join the stream and ask me questions and we'll have a conversation. But um, in terms of, I mean, yeah, exposure for the U.S., uh, for hockey, I think it's going to drive um, attention. Certain like markets, whether it's like Florida or even California is going to help from this, even the markets in New York, uh, different markets like Carolina and Nashville. You can go on with a whole bunch of these markets that sometimes don't get enough attention. Obviously, New York, I think, especially with the Rangers on the rise, how the Islanders have played, um, New York gets its fair share of attention with hockey. But there's some southern markets or out west in the U.S. that don't get enough attention and not enough people are, I would say, exposed to hockey. So in terms of uh, being exposed to it, and we've talked about the betting aspect for sports, um, the NBA, that's a huge aspect of how they've grown. The betting aspect, that's going to grow through ESPN and uh, the exposure of that. And, I mean, ESPN is probably going to grow in certain as aspects of, like, having different shows, uh, uh, like a betting show, fantasy show. Uh, they're going to bring in the right people, hopefully, like I said. And, man, I mean, just it's going to drive revenue for the NHL for sure. And it's going to drive uh, exposure for the league. So uh, I hope all of what I'm saying right now actually happens. And it's a 
huge positive side uh, for the NHL going forward. And I, I believe it will be. So this was just my straight out reaction, guys. This is just the raw reaction you're getting. No editing. So thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and comment. This was John from Atikaki. Like I said, I'll be live tonight. Always join the streams and videos. Leave a comment and always drop a like. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Have a good one. Peace out.